All right, guys, we've got a Glock 48 at the range today. We'll take a few shots with this skinny 19. Kenny Powers here. Huh? Kenny Powers here. Kenny Powers here, boy. <laughs> Chad actually does have hair, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take out our little pep airs. All right. <laughs> I can already tell this is going to be a little bit better than the 43X. Oh man, that is one sweet shooter right there. Let's see. Oh, that was the- Well, the slide goes halfway to the target. No wonder you're hitting more with it. It does. Let's see, it's a, it's a match grade uh, 43L. <laughs> we tried that earlier, but it w the slide wouldn't work on the 43 XL. frame. So that was actually <laughs> some of the um, 147 grain G2 that I shot there. This is some uh, 117 Agula hollow point stuff. Eh. Let's see. Uh, yeah, probably pulled a couple of those. Not bad though. I'll shoot one more group of that stuff. Man, you're gonna like this. That thing's a sweet shooter. Go man. All right. All right, I definitely pulled that shot. All right, let me try one more mag here and we'll talk a little bit more about it. 147 grain G2 from Spear. Yeah, take out some of our sodas early on here. That ammo was great, man. Water the lawn, boys. Drain it at the bottom. Uh -oh. Hit one of them watermelons with that 147. Let me see. <laughs> they put some holes in them for sure very cool all right so those were the first shots i've taken out of the 48 here um like i said earlier this is kind of like a 19 that's been cut in half as eric likes to say and it literally is it's just almost the exact same size as a 19 pit for pat Slide is ever so slightly longer, but the profile is nice and thin for concealed carry and uh, definitely is a comfortable shooter overall. But these have the same features as the new 43Xs. These do have the sort of Gen 5-ish uh, grip with their little square texturing on there. The grip size is slightly wider than the standard 43, of course, like we mentioned in the 43X video. The magazines are completely different between the two guns. The 43X and the 48 magazines are a semi-staggered uh, 10 shot single stack. And like I said, these are not compatible with the 43 at all. That extra slide definitely seems to translate into a little bit better accuracy potential downrange compared to the 43. Um, sight radius is a little bit longer, obviously. So, you know, definitely got a little bit more accuracy potential. Um, standard fare for, for Glock with the newer models, you can replace the, uh, or you can swap the magazine catch from the right side of the pistol to the left side for left-handed shooters. Uh, it only has a slide stop on the left side of the frame, unlike the 45 and the uh, new 19X. Uh, those are more full-size handguns. They do have an ambidextrous slide stop feature, which is pretty cool for you ambi shooters out there and you left-handed shooters. Um, slight little beaver tail, very comfortable grip. I mean, overall, these things are nice. Uh, and the 48 does feature the same uh, in PVD coating, which we'll see how it holds up over time. So far, the coating has shown to be somewhat similar to the old black oxide coatings. It's getting a little bit of wear and tear on the bull nose just from holstering and unholstering. And um, I don't know yet if it's gonna rust kind of like the old 43s did, but this new finish may hold up a little bit better. The 19X has an MPVD coating on it as well, and it has been holding up fantastically. No wear and tear really apparent on the bull nose. I'm not sure if this particular uh, surface treatment is a little bit thicker or a little bit more robust on the 19X compared to the, uh, the carry guns here, but time will tell. So let's take a few more shots with it. 
and we'll uh, we'll see what's going on. It does feature the same sort of recoil reduction system that's uh, apparent in the new guns as well. It has kind of a two-stage recoil spring, so that definitely does cut down on the felt recoil a good bit. And uh, with the enhanced, you know, longer grip control of this gun is a lot better in the hand than the 43 without some sort of extension. You actually can get your entire hand on this particular grip and it is extremely comfortable in the hand. Uh, the 48 will not fit 43 holsters, unfortunately. So that means you guys have to buy a new holster if you switch to this gun over 43. Um, I tried it out in a black point and I tried it out in my uh, Wolf Hollow tactical holster. You could probably modify it, but then your muzzle would be sticking out of the end of the holster. I don't know how comfortable that would be, but take a few more shots. We've got some uh, Agula 117 grain hollow points loaded up here. I'm going to put my ears back in because these things are loud, quite loud. Ah, they make a threaded barrel for this one yet? Ah. I'm sure they're coming. <laughs> All right, let's take a few more shots. Take out some choice targets, shoot a little bit longer range. So far, I have to say I, I prefer... I prefer this one for just casual shooting over the uh, the 43X. Definitely seems to be a little bit more accurate, but like I said, longer barrel, longer sight radius definitely comes into play. Take out our little plates here at 15 yards first, and then we'll move out to a little bit longer range here. Let's see if I can take a headshot here. Oh yeah. Sucker will do its part as long as you will. All right, let's take out their lonely watermelon there with one of these and just see how these do. This ammo is actually pretty affordable. I mean, it's like almost maybe a little bit more than full metal jacket pricing, but 50 rounds of hollow point 117s. Let's see how they do on a watermelon down there. Real scientific, right? <laughs> Yes! Oh yeah! Little sucker's getting down. <laughs> hey, get back here. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, there's that one hiding back there behind the board. Oh no! That just will not stand. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. Hey, I shot the top off of it. I meant to do that. Let's see. Oh, anyway, he's leaking out of there. All right. I'm going to take a shot about 30 yards here on our little popper. Okay. Six inch plate there. Where am I hitting? I'll just finish these last uh, mags out, Eric, and then turn it over to you. Let's have some fun. Ah, there we go. Well, poop. Well, I guess that six inch plate isn't going to be in the cards for me today. 35 on a half size D28 back here. What is going on? There we go. Heck yeah, man. All right, 75. I'm digging this one. I'm digging this one a lot. Very cool. Man. I dig it. I think you're going to like this. You know, shoot some of those heavies through it and 
try some of the uh, HSTs and everything out. I got it. I'm loading up some carry ammo cool. right now. Yeah, we're just going to shoot some more carry ammo through it. We'll reset the range and uh, see how he fares with it. Uh, I really like the increased sight radius. I'm not sure how I'd feel about carrying a long gun like this appendix. I know a lot of people, you know, carry like 19s appendix and such, but I've been carrying the 43 for about two years. And um, the 43X is definitely kind of more up my alley for concealed carry. But that gun right there is a definite contender. I mean, 10 shots in your hand, plus one in the mag. And if you carry, or one in the chamber and you carry a spare mag on you, that's a lot of, uh, a lot of firepower, you know, uh, compared to something like the 43 itself or even the shield, you know, the shield doesn't hold as many rounds, but the shields are quite accurate and they do come in at a much lower price point than the 43X and the 48 and even the 43. But turn it over to Eric and let him take a few shots and uh, see how he does. All right, guys, I'm going to take a couple of shots with the 48 here. Uh, my opinion on this gun probably differs from Chad's just a little bit. Um, it is a 19 cut in half, and I guess if you if you want that slimmer profile, it can certainly accommodate that. I think maybe I'm a little bit more of the school of thought that I'd rather just pack a 19 at this point. But for some of you, you might want a, a skinnier gun. I can completely appreciate that. Uh, that's the beauty of uh, having different options is that you have the option. So that might be your thing. We're going to use some uh, 147 grain uh, BXP Browning. We're going to test a variety of different carry loads through the 48. Chad was getting some excellent accuracy out of it. Uh, I'm going to try my best here. Have a little fun. I hit the mag release. Uh-oh. Huh. Let me change my grip here. bad no not at all you know and again I, I just feel like these little guns really seem to prefer the heavies would they you do. say all right this is the norma and that's a 124 grain we've done a full test on this particular load if you guys want to check that test out i'm just trying to test accuracy a little bit um it's very similar to the 43x but just with longer sight radius longer slide A couple of flyers in that group. Okay, 124 grain HST. This is a good standby. Uh, we want to test this round just because we know that you know a lot of folks use this particular round. I changed my grip just a little bit. I, I think I might have knocked that uh, magazine release there a little bit. Let's take out a couple of the sodas and goodies back there. Not bad. Hard to beat H uh, HST. It's a good standby. We've got some uh, Spear G2 uh, Gold Dot. This is excellent ammunition. And we got, I would say, out of uh, the groups that Chad and I shot with the 43X in one of the previous videos, I would say that's probably the most accurate load out of the 43X. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to take my time and just try to shoot a group on this uh, gong over here. The triggers on the guns are very, very similar between the 43X and this. Uh, dare I say the exact same. It's a Glock. It's a Glock. It's a Glock trigger.
couple of weird flyers that 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 is being thrown there. But um, I'm slacking here. Yeah, I mean it's a it's a neat pistol. You know, like Chad said, it, it basically is a 19 that's cut in half. Um, very slim. I could see where it'd be a you know a nice uh, concealed unit for somebody wanting a little bit more velocity, but with just a 10 round capacity. Um, again, me personally, I I feel like I'd probably still just rather carry a 19 and get the double stack magazines. Um, but you know, options are fun, and uh, that's definitely an option for some of you. Uh, I know some people's build type might be you know they might need a slimmer gun depending on the their build. Uh, or whatever and like Chad said I could see appendix carry as being a little bit outside of the realm of what this gun would be uh, you know good for but uh, it is cool for them to offer something like this you know options are fun it's not like you can't just run a 19 if you want or run a 43x or any other type of uh, small gun all right this is some Aguila 117 grain uh, hollow point Gonna hey, look, a penny carrier would probably be all right as you get older because, you know, as you age, your pants get higher and higher, right? In theory. In theory. All right. Not bad at all. I like it. Stoppage. Uh-oh. What? Failure to feed. That is the kind of a short, stubby little hollow point there. Yeah, it is. That's all the ammo I've got left. That one's only got six in it there. That's fine. All right, we got to shoot our gopher there. We neglected to shoot him in the other video. Not bad. The reason he was neglected is because the cows decided to come over there and knock him out of the way when they were eating the watermelons last time. <laughs> All right. We'll group a couple of these 117s. I've only got six left in this magazine. Let's just see what they can do over here. I'm going to just aim at the bolt. That is so strange. It seems like this particular pistol is throwing a flyer to the right in every magazine, a couple of flyers. That's not me. That's what I noticed with the 43X. I was getting some weird flyers and stuff, and I wasn't really sure. It didn't feel like I was pulling the shots or anything. Yeah, crazy, me either. But... Me either. You know, all in all, it is a cool gun. I do like it. Um, I think that it, it fulfills sort of a niche for, for everybody, depending on what you're looking to do. The NPVD finish, I know, has some people a little bit worried about the longevity and how well it's going to hold up. Um, the finish on the 19X is great so far. <laughs> uh, we haven't really had any major issues with that particular finish. Yeah, NPVD. This is the same type of finish that they're using on the 48 and on the 43X. Uh, I know a lot of people have concerns about it, how well it's going to hold up. Uh, that would be my only concern. I'm not a big fan of the glare on the finish, you know, it being a, a, a silver, you know, colored type of finish. Uh, I'm, I'm not a fan of that at all. It seems to me that a carry gun should have maybe a black finish or a, a darker finish. It's not going to have any kind of glare or definitely a non-glare finish. I don't know what they were uh, maybe thinking there, but it is a cool gun. Uh, I think the accuracy is definitely acceptable. Uh, and of course, it's a Glock. It seems to eat everything we can throw in it in terms of ammunition. Um, you know, we did have one failure to feed there. I have no idea. That could have just been the uh, ogive on that particular round, but we did have one little little minor issue there. And then I did uh, accidentally <laughs> push the magazine release uh, in there and make the mag drop. But once I adjusted my grip, it wasn't a big deal. Uh, it does seem that that magazine release, it's got a, a good bit of purchase on it. It can, you know, pokes out a good way. It would seem that depending on how you carry this thing, you could inadvertently bump the magazine release. Uh, which would not be good, just something to consider. But uh, personally, I think it's a cool gun. I, I think 
I'm probably still in the camp of preferring a 19 over the 48, but the major difference is when you go from a 43X to the 19. Now that's a big difference in size. So um, this is sort of a Goldilocks zone between the 19 and the 43X. So guys, thanks for watching today's video. We really appreciate the support. Those of you who uh, purchase man cans to support our efforts, those of you who are Patreon supporters, if you purchase uh, merchandise over on the website to help support us, thank you very much. Such as this shirt that I'm wearing is available on the website. Thanks very much for the support. We'll see you guys next time.